In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to work with groups in GraphPad. And I'm going to start by just going into geometry and lines mode and creating some lines. I'm going to add some dimensions so we can see how the grouping actually works. And now, say for example we want to change the scale of the drawing, we could create a group by going into points mode, creating a selection area, and then go to copy group, create group. And what we'll notice is, is we have a new handle and rotation. Uh, point. So at this point we could actually take this group and we could rotate it and we'll notice everything rotates nicely. Um, but say for example we want to change the scale, at this point these dimensions are now fixed because it's part of a group and if we change the scale, say for example we take the slider and we move it, we'll notice that as we change the scale of the drawing the grouped items maintains its size and adjusts accordingly. I'll go ahead and move that back. Now in addition to this, there's lots of times where we want to work with multiple groups at the same time. And so I'm going to create a separate group here. And we'll go ahead and, as we did before, create a group. And now we have two groups. And say, for example, we wanted to clean up our drawing and we want to turn these rotation and resize handles off. And by the way, this is the resize handle. And you can see how that works. Um, so what we can do is we can go into points mode and we can select both of the um, group handles, which is the center dot and then go to Properties, and now I can turn these features on or off. So for example, I can turn that rotation handle off if I hit the button correctly. We'll notice that we no longer have that handle. I can turn the Resize button off, so Resize off. And these are toggles, and so whatever's, it doesn't show what the, the group has because we have multiple groups, but it'll just allow you to toggle the features on and off. We can also turn off the points, and now we really clean up the drawing. And so it's a lot easier to work with this, it's a lot easier to visualize. In addition, we could actually take a group, for example, and we could rotate it five degrees. And you can see how we can precisely rotate things into alignment. And this is very important, particularly when we have satellite images. Uh, we would do that in the image mode. It would have a similar, actually, no, we would use, sorry, we would use the properties here. And we could rotate an image and rotate it into alignment with any lines that we have. Um, so just to create a real quick example of that, We'll go in, we'll create some, grab some image. These are probably not great images, but we'll grab one in anyway. And say, for example, this is a satellite image. We could then select that image. We see the center dot is highlighted. And now we could rotate it very precisely, plus or minus uh, 0.5 degrees. You know, I just love it when things don't work. Images. Ah, there's a plus or minus. Now we can actually rotate the image. And you can see we do have uh, the plus or minus on the images. And so that's my presentation. So that demonstrates how to create a group, um, how to change the features of the group. We do that with the selection area. And uh, to, oh, last but not least, in order to ungroup items, say for example, we no longer wanted this to be part of a group. And we'll notice that we can select the line in a group, but we can't resize it. If we want to change that so we can actually resize things, we can delete the group by double, hand, uh, double tapping on the center hander handle. So now if we go into lines mode and we grab this line, we can drag it. And so what I've demonstrated is how to create a group, how to delete the grouping of items so that they're now back to being normal items. And of course, last little thing, if we change the scale, if it's ungrouped, we'll see that it no longer maintains its size. Um, how to turn the features on and off on a group. Um, also how to rotate satellite images. And that's pretty much it. That's my presentation. Thank you.